All right, welcome back. Tom Zakvea back again for you for Cult of Athena. Got another pole arm for you. This one is from Depeka. Got a steel tip on it. Got the pin in there. You'll see Depeka's Eagle logo stamped into it. We have a hardwood shaft. The actual pole axe itself is pinned right into it. So you'll see the wood is flat, kind of sandwiched in between there. And then we have the actual functional part. So we have an axe part. It's very thin, profiled on both sides. Kind of like a cross section, I guess you could say. Nice tip, also diamond cross section. You can see, looking at it straight on, it's very thin. I feel like I'm modeling a watch right now for <laughs> all the rotating. And then obviously we also have the ax part, which uh, kind of looks like a crow's beak. You can call it a crow's beak. Kind of looks like one. You'll see these are all designed to do one thing. Every, every side of this is designed to either thrust or crush armor. So just like the Yari, the Yari almost seems delicate in comparison to how this one looks. It just looks really, really gnarly. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Depeka just put this one out. Uh, I have been training with it. You saw some Instagram videos of me moving around the forest with it. And it's great. It feels really nice in the hand. You'll see that it's got plenty of grip. The background's a little bit noisier here than, uh, than the forest, so. You'll see it's got a really good grip to it. Even on the top of it, if you were like in like a shorter stance, or in like a shorter stance, it's got plenty of room. Uh, this one is actually pretty light in comparison to some of the other ones, so you do still have good return on it. The thrusting's good, circular motion's really good. I mean, you got it's still a workout with the pole arm, but you can still work it to where you can get it back around. Uh, if you're fighting with it out in front here, like just off the spear side, it's easy to redirect it. If you need to parry something, or if you need to come around, or tear with the back of it, or come back out to long range, it's going to all depend on what you want out of it. So this one's about plexus height. You can see right in line with my solar plexus from the side. A lot of range, good grip cool weapon. Comment below what uh, what other pole axis do you guys want to see. Did the uh, the Yari, did this one, did a few more also coming your way. Uh, if you do any kind of like pole axe fighting, maybe you do uh, Battle of Nations. Would you, uh, would you consider this for that type of uh, competition, that type of training? Uh, if there's any kind of specifics as far as like rules about pole axes and which one is the most badass. Just uh, comment that below, I'd like to hear about it. Let's get another quick pan of this guy. We can see what we're working with today. Forgot to mention, having this thing, these are not sharp, so they're like just kind of dulled out, you could say. Try and get in there as you can see it. They're just kind of dulled out. The other really cool thing about this is you have all the hooking. So you can pull them in and then thrust them. Or you can pull them in and then hit them. And they're not getting out of that now. Now that you come around, wham! So, uh, very brutal weapon. Kind of reminds me of a uh, the hammer that Ajax uses in Troy, that may not be historically accurate, but uh, anybody who's strong enough to wield a two-handed weapon like this is a, is a badass, so that's pretty awesome. 
So now we're taking a look at some specs, what this is used for and all that. Let's go ahead and smash some stuff with it. Okay, so we're gonna hit this with a coconut. Now the favored type of uh, striking surface for the Cult of Athena videos for testing. We're gonna use the triple spike or the hammer side first. <laughs> that was clean. And I got to pull it back too. Damn. Gave it a bath. <laughs> Coconut bath. We come over by the stand. Oh, wow. Thank you, Ollie. Well, well, we know it's a real coconut, and we split right in half. Wow. The stand's not broken either. I don't have this, the spike anymore for it. I don't know what happened to it. <laughs> Damn. All right, so that's round one with this side. Let's go to the uh, hooking side now. So we're gonna use this side now. It's not sharp on either side. It's still pointy, has a little bit of an arc to it. Um, it should at least be able to hack into it. So we're gonna see how it does. And the camera. I skimmed it. It's good. It's fresh too. Sideways, baby. Dude, it's hard. Dude. That's a hard. Oh, it's indented it. I cracked it. Yep. All the way in half. I tried to crack it with my hand and work. <laughs> so if you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, where we put up wonderful, beautiful videos and photos of the things we carry here at Cult of Athena. Comment below what you want to see in the coming future for reviews and smashing of things. And I'll talk to you soon.